it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Who wants up YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Scruff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches, Christian Mingle, and the lands all across the land. This is your girl T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always, and forever, in color. And welcome to tonight's Cracking the Cold Faces. You know, guys, uh, if you have watched the show earlier, our guest judge for the Queen Supreme Court was none other than the Internet's super sensation, Jaguar Evermore. Okay? Thank you. And, Jaguar, I want to thank you so much for coming here, sister. Thanks you know, for you, me. You know, I've been watching you online for a very long time, mm -hmm. you know, because what has happened is that, you know, my presence coming through, and, I'm, and I don't want to sound narcissistic mm -hmm. or I don't want to you know, be, you know, pat myself on the back, but, you know. Go ahead. Thank you. If you you if allow you, me to? If you accomplish something, that's a great thing. Well, because, you know, I did usher or pave away a lane for a lot of trans girls, especially mm -hmm. outspoken trans girls who mm -hmm. were uh, a part of a, uh, who was liberated sexually, who was loud, live, and in color, to come through and just be loud, live, and in color on the internet. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. 100%. No. You know what I'm saying? I didn't start the internet until after, you know, you. And um, I looked up to you and I admired you and some of the things I may have, you know, mimicked. Um, not to say do it, not to say do it exactly like you. I but, saw you, but tweak it a little bit. I saw you, you and know, I loved, it. I you know, loved it. That like, was out of admiration. Yes, and it I, wasn't to take anything from a person. You know, you do little things and say little simple. Would well, you admire my own? Oh, look, look, there's somebody like me. Look, look, look. You saw somebody like yourself mm -hmm. online. Or whatever. It was the same way, like 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 the thing with me with Flame. Like mm -hmm. when I saw Flame Monroe on Comic View, I was like, "Oh my God, yes. I see somebody you know like me." Yes. So I understand Flame's conversation when it comes down, you know, mm -hmm. to seeing yourself on TV through somebody else, mm -hmm. and that's why I, at times I feel like that it is so important for us to share spaces on. Uh, big platforms because mm -hmm. the girl coming behind us, whether they're older or younger, says like, wow, I, I see me. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. And that that's a big thing. I, 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 I don't I hug you for that. that. I love you for that. Yes, now, now, I have lots of things. I want to crack uh -huh. some cold cases with you because I have been following you and I have been Thank seeing you. things online or whatever. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing you go through numerous pages on Instagram and mm -hmm. stuff. I've seen, you know, you be kind of like shut down on stuff. Yes. So I would like to open up my question with, how was Jaguar Evermore born? How was I born? Um, okay. Uh, well, I watched my mom. I watched her a lot. I watched my, my grandmother was very influential because she was the type of grandmother that would not leave the house without lipstick. You know those type of grandmothers mm -hmm. who would not leave the house without Ms. their hair combed or with like a, a colorful muumuu of some sort. Miss Mary. Mm-hmm. That 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 was my grandmother, and I watched her, and I watched um, women, and and I was like, I, I wish I had the courage to be them. I want to wear me. I want to do them, but you know it was forbidden because I was not born a girl, and um, I just felt just awkward on the inside. I felt like I didn't belong. I felt ostracized, I felt alone, and um, it was just finally, to a, I got to a breaking point when I graduated high school. I said, okay, if this is my life, I can do what I want to do. And what, what, what brought about me was I saw a drag show. That's all it took was one drag show <laughs> to put all the pieces together. <laughs> and after I saw that drag show, I knew that I wanted to be her. I see, I, I can be her. I can do what she does, and I can entertain, and I can put all this stuff on and still be her. And that's what birthed Jaguar Evermore. And, I, and once I found who she was, 
and started taking my hormones and started working on her and talking to her and, and making her come alive and I absolutely fell in love with her, you know. With Jaguar. With Jaguar. Okay. So where did the, how, did, how did you come up with the name? Because the, the name is just like Jaguar Evermore. Okay, okay. Um, well, people always used to say when they see me, you know, when I used to do my makeup, I used to wear one-on-one lashes and big lashes and I used to always wear contacts and they said, you know, when you perform, you kind of look like a cat because your eyes are kind of <laughs> slanted to the side. And I said, okay. And then I was driving down the street and I saw a car and it was a Jaguar. He looked so beautiful and I put the two together and I was like, well, they say I look like a cat. I don't want to be just any kind of cat. I want to be something wild, something that's untamed, something that's, you know, that's just creeping and crawling and stuff like that. So I said, my name is Jaguar. Uh -huh. And then I was reading a book about this lady. She had many lovers. You know, some had money, some didn't have money, but she was in control over her lovers. And her name was Evermore. And I was like, oh, that's a beautiful name because, you know, Do you I remember had this many book? lovers. Do you remember what this book I didn't remember the book, but <laughs> I remember that this lady had many lovers. And, I was, and I, I was in a place where I had many lovers. And I just took her last name, and I just put the two together, and I said, Jaguar Evermore. There Jaguar it is. Jaguar Evermore. And, and she was born. So what year did this transpire? Did this, was this? This was year two. I wasn't even um, transitioned, but year 2000. I walked around, you know, as a girl all day and every day. And I said, each day got easier. When I tell you each day got easier and easier, I didn't say, I, I wouldn't say that I didn't have my you know, run-ins with people and people clock my tea and, you know, everything. And they still do, but that's on that's their business. But um, each day got easier for me. And I just realized that I, this is who I am. I didn't have to ask permission from my mom, dad. I have three older brothers and nobody would never know because I'm so tough. But I didn't have to ask permission from nobody. My, actually, my older brother know who you are. He's like, oh, he's like, oh you going over at T.S. Madison? Oh, oh, man, she's huge on the Internet. She's huge. <laughs> yeah, he, oh, he, Lord. He is like, he, he is like and he's, a and fan. He, and he's straight. My brother is straight, got two sets of twins, and he's a fan of T.S. Madison. Well, Jesus come now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Jaguar, this brings me to my second question that mm -hmm. I have with you. We, we kind of danced around it a little bit in the first opening. of. Mm -hmm. how, how do you identify? Are you... Are you trans? Are you gender nonconformant? Are you are you gender fluid? You know, because there's so many so ways many. and so many you know areas of identity you know with us in the LBGT community. How do you uh, identify per se? I really identify as a trans woman. You know, people will look at me. You know, they see me doing skits. They see me doing comedy. They see me doing things on the internet, and they may say that's not the. Um, that, those are the characters of a trans person, or especially a trans woman. Wouldn't do some of the things that I do and take, you know, chances like I do. But I do consider myself a trans woman. I wouldn't have never, ever laid on anybody's table and got, you know, tits, um, fillers, um, silicone. I wouldn't have never done that if I didn't have any anticipation on being and living my life to the fullest, to the end, as a trans woman, a trans person. Okay. Alright, so when did this idea come into your in your mind or, or when did you get that feeling or you knew that you were a trans woman? Um, when I was a kid, maybe four years old, I was a kid. Four? Yes, I was a kid that with the mop and I used to twist the mop and pretend that I was the mop and my hair was going around like <laughs> twirling like, you know, you know, Kenya Moore, she said, gone with the wind, fabulous, but I didn't have that concept, but I was like twirling the mop and twirling and I wish that was my hair. I was the one tying sheets and towels on my head. I was the one cooking bologna sandwiches in my mama's high heels. I was the one, you know, was getting told on by my brothers. Um, I was the one, my brother's friends comes over and say, your brother's a punk. I, <laughs> wait, yeah. wait a minute, wait, wait. They would tell my so, brother. And you, are you from L.A.? I'm from Mississippi. Okay, so the word, okay, so that's the, because I know when you said the word punk, that was a southern word. Yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of, that was a real southern uh, word, especially the way you said it was like yeah, punk. Yes, yes. Ooh. So that's my southern roots. Uh, <laughs> you know, people would probably, you know, suspect that I'm from the south. But, yeah, I'm from Mississippi. And they would, my friends would tell my brothers that your brother's, he's going to grow up and be gay. And um, my cousins would say certain things. And, and my grandfather would even say certain hurtful, hurtful things. Like, like, yeah. And they used to always want me to perform. And they would laugh, laughing, but they were laughing at me because 
I was gay. You know, they wanted me to do certain feminine things, but you know, a lot of my cousins and my uncles and things of that nature, they would laugh at me because I was gay. I was tricked, you know, by my brothers. They were very mean. They had tricked me um, to touching another guy's dick. You know, because I always used to ask for things. I used to always beg for things. And it, it was an ice cream sandwich called a Nutty Buddy. Okay, tell me about and the they, Nutty Buddy. The Nutty Buddy, yeah. And this is an older guy named Bobby. And so my brothers, they, you know, we was all outside. And I said, I want a Nutty Buddy. Um, it was like it's ice cream. It's like an ice cream. It looks like a cone and it has nuts and... Oh, I know exactly what a top. Nutty Buddy is. Yes. And they, they, they tricked me. And they said, we'll give you one, but you have to do this trick. And I said, yeah. And they said, close your eyes to do this trick. You know, we all were young kids. And close your eyes to do this trick. And, and I said, I closed my eyes. But they took my hand and they put it on Bobby's penis. And it scared me because Bobby had hair on his penis and I didn't have hair on mine. So <laughs> it, it scared me. But they used to play tricks on me and things of that nature. Uh, you know, I didn't have a very good um, childhood, but I grew out of that shit once I hit high school and really figured out who I am, you know. Well... What? That was a lot. It was a lot. Cracking but, right there. That was just a lot. Cracking because you like. I, I've asked you two questions, and and you really move. You're really moving because I want to ask you. Yes. Being seen as a trans woman. Mm -hmm. Describe the difficulties that you've uh, maneuvered in this world. Oh, I've maneuvered a lot. Um, I've, I've been in stores as and a lot of stuff, and I still go through this today as who I am right now as I go in stores you know I get misgendered a lot and things like that but people usually do it after I tell them or after we get into an altercation because when, if we do ever run across each other in stores or whatever man woman dog cat rat female what I don't care who it is disrespect is disrespect you will hear my protector my protector is Marcus so I want you <laughs> so although I'm a trans person it's the person who I was born I can't get rid of and I, I, I tried and it's just hard to do because that person protects me it's a person that protects Jaguar and I don't live as that person but like Ragu that person is in there so <laughs> I, I, you know you know what I'm saying that person is right there and, and that person really guides me through to navigate that it, it just protects Jaguar so the, so the person's name the person that protects you's name is Marcus mm -hmm. so that would be your dead name mm-hmm my the, your former name. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. The dead name. The dead name. Mm -hmm. It's Marcus. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and and he protects. He has to protect. So Marcus is your protector. Yeah. Marcus was sent by God to protect, protect Jaguar. Protect Jaguar. Let Jaguar know it's gonna be okay. Bitch, if you fight, you want to do what you got to do. But, you know, and I've, I have obstacles like that, you know, especially females do it all the time. You know, you go into the store and they see a tall, you know, drink a glass of water. They be looking and stuff like that. They'll giggle. They'll so, so how tall are you, Jack? I'm six, two and a half. You're six, two mm -hmm. and a half, so you're almost six, three. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I think that you have a very pretty face. You're very Thank pretty. You. you have a very nice physique. Thank you. You know, you look like a woman to me, you know, and I've seen you... Wash face because you and yeah. I've hung out in LA and yes. I've seen you wash face and, and coming through. Mm -hmm. Now you do wear those contacts. I do wear those contacts. Kind of, kind of draws in attention, but I do that because the eyes are the windows to the soul, and I don't want people to really know or understand who I am or what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling. So I always, you know, try to mask that. I don't want them. To, I don't want them to enter into my soul through my eyes. So you, because when we were out, you had these these really. Like they were like snake eyes or mm -hmm. something, and mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I was captivated by it. Mm -hmm. It didn't throw me off because mm -hmm. I know. Because you know, mm -hmm. I've been watching you online, and I've understood your persona and your personality. I, I, I understand loud, live, and in color mm -hmm. because I'm T. S. Madison, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm loud, live, and in color. But mm -hmm. you are a different loud, live, and in color. <laughs> you are loud, live, <laughs> and in color. And 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 yeah. I, and. and and, I, and I've had a conversation with you before on your live, and I said, I respect that, that mm -hmm. you are loud, live, and in color. Remember mm -hmm. when we first, yeah. you and I first spoke on your live on mm -hmm. Instagram, because mm -hmm. I was watching you, and people, uh, which I don't like, and, and listen, Jaguar, we have three cameras that you can look, and when you, when you tell your story, you can look at this one, you can look at that one, you can look at this one. Okay. So just don't, don't feel like that you, you have to be right here. I want you to be loose, and I just want you to talk to us. Mm -hmm. Now, when we when we first communicated on your live, mm -hmm. um, people were trying to 
make us have altercations with each other mm -hmm. because they were writing like, "Oh, T.S., you see this and other whatever." Mm -hmm. and you, you, because they do that. Yeah, they do I that. Have to learn, and you and you have you you got to know that this is what people will do. This and mm -hmm. it will be sometimes it'll be the fans and or it will be people that want to see girls have division. a division with each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and and my thing was, I had been already watching you and seeing your videos mm -hmm. and been laughing and stuff at your videos. Mm -hmm. Especially one video that you <laughs> <laughs> that you had on there particular that got your page fucked up. Because you've had a few videos yeah. that had your page fucked yes. up. And that video where you had on that sundress and you, and you didn't have on any panties and and your lady, your ladyboy no. parts were <laughs> absolutely were everywhere, honey. And you are a well endowed girl, and you had that thing. He's like, it's sundress season, motherfuckers. Sundress, <laughs> motherfuckers, season, season, season motherfuckers. Bitch. Did it, sundress. That season. was me. That was me. <laughs> and you did this thing where you had a chicken too, and you put a dildo, dildo. in the chicken. Yes, yes. And you say this is my cock, motherfucker. Like chick this stuff dick. that you were doing, the chick with a dick. Yes, you yes. did this on on Facebook. People were tagging me, and I, and I think that they really wanted you and I to have a problem with it because when I came out on the scene, mm -hmm. I was new way twenty two inches. Come on in, you know. It was yes. all that stuff. I have already did, did you know, big things like that, which yes. which which kind of knocked the wall down for, for you me to come, come through. and do come through and do yes. it. And I did. I didn't. I, I never. I never took, you know, took that shit on. I mm -hmm. always just watched. Uh -huh. And then when you were on Instagram, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead on and, and speak to this girl, or whatever, because I, I thought that you, I thought that she was so funny. Thank you, boo. Thank you. I did. I thought that you were so funny. Uh -huh. And when I got on you, I got in the comment section of your Instagram, and I said. Cause you, you you I think you were doing like a poll mm -hmm. and you were asking your fans like were you too wild or were you too something or whatever and I said bitch I love you just the way you are thank you and when they when you saw my name up on it you yes. said oh and, yes. bitch, and then you I said add me and we had that conversation mm -hmm. I said Jaguar I love you for being loud live and in color mm -hmm. I love you for being mm -hmm. boisterous I love you for 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 being liberated with your genitalia, I love yeah. all that about you. I gotta own it. I gotta own it. Yes, that's a beautiful part of a, of just being of who being you a are. trans woman. Because I know for me, I, I don't identify as female, mm -hmm. and I don't identify as particularly straight woman. Mm -hmm. I as cis woman, I identify as a trans wo woman. Trans hyphen woman. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. my identity mm -hmm. because I know biologically I'm not a female. And mm -hmm. just like you understand, yes. biologically you are not a, a female. Mm -hmm. However, gender, your gender identity, you are a trans woman. Mm -hmm. You are you are you are a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, <laughs> I, I I respect you. I've Thank always you. respected it. Respect I've always respected it. I've, <laughs> I've never had an ill word to say about it. Yes. and it, it's just it was just, it was just fun. It was fun for me, yes. you know, to see. Yes, you have caused disturbances online. Yes, I did. And honey, yes, you have <laughs> lost a mini page. <laughs> yes. But was Very it worth it all? Was it worth it all? Girl? It was. Because look who I'm, look who I'm sitting with. Oh, girl, I ain't. Look who I'm sitting with. <laughs> look, I ain't look, nobody. Girl. Look who I fish. You are. Yes, you are. I see big things for you. I see, see. You know, when you're in it, you don't see it. But I see. I see such much more for you. You know, you, you then I could only that I could imagine. I, and you can imagine, me, and God can bless you. And, and for me, I see the same thing for you because mm -hmm. anybody I see that's living outside of the norm and living outside and coloring outside of the yeah. lines, yeah. I see that for them too. Thank you so much. Now, I want to ask you this question: mm -hmm. You have you engaged, or, 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 or uh -huh. is it, or is it safe to say that you've engaged in sex work? It is safe to say. Time? It okay. is safe to say that I have engaged in all types of sex work. With husbands and wives and oh, uh, wives too. Wives too. Uh, yes, husbands as came over with the wife wedding ring. Oh, it's okay. You can fuck John. Oh, it's okay. You can lick my pussy. Oh, it's okay. And there was I was given permission. I never did anything without asking. We've been married for such and such years. We want this to happen, and it's okay. It's okay. You know, I've engaged in sex work because. As so, a, so you've engaged when you've engaged in sex work. You've engaged in sex work with with men and women. Men and women. Men and women. And I, I find it, it was a guy 
So you yeah. actually went through with it. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, I've been propositioned for men. And I know girls. some certain girls can't. They just can't. Their mind just can't. Have a sexual experience. You can't get past it. But yeah. you've done it. I, I, I've done it. And it wasn't, it wasn't something that I'm out here choosing. Oh, I want to do that. It was for survival. It was for, some of, some of it was it for survival. And I want to prove that I can. I can turn off. I can turn my mind off when it comes to sex. Because I, I you know, I had so much sex, I was numb to it. If, if my penis got hard, I, my mind wasn't there. I could turn my mind off. Some girls can't get to the, their mind to turn off and say, oh, I'm having sex with a woman. But I would turn my mind off completely off. I, so basically, you are really not sexually attracted to a woman. No. However, if the price is right, yes, you just might. Yes, because I was real professional. I was like, "Oh, just the job." I I, feel, I just viewed it as a, it's just the job. I gotta I gotta make this job work. You so know. So did you enjoy any of the sexual? Oh yeah, I enjoyed some of the with the women. If in they men? were nice, if the woman was a, a complete bitch. <laughs> I would just, I would say, oh, I have to go, I have to put, you know what I'm saying? I enjoyed it, you know, and I could not do it with a woman by herself. I have to have a man there because I can focus on the man while the woman you know, lays down, lays down, and you jump off the bed onto the floor inside. Yes, yes, yes. I could not do it if men, like being a girl in a room by herself, it would never happen. Mm mm. Is it odd? No, because I myself have been propositioned numerous times when I was also in the sex work mm -hmm. industry. And women have, have women proposition me for sex now. Mm -hmm. Especially after all of those videos, you know, those that, they've, videos they've that they've seen. seen and they've mm -hmm. seen me devastate a man and, and yeah. then they they want that same type of devastation. Yes. You know, so, I mean... It's admirable. For me... Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't because I'm not in any way mm -hmm. sexually attracted to a woman. I find women beautiful. beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, I think that women are beautiful, complex creatures, mm -hmm. and I think that women. I, 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 I'm mesmerized by the creation of a woman. Mm -hmm. I think I, I have reverence for a woman. Mm -hmm. I love a woman, but I'm just not sexually there. Yes. Yes. You know, and I couldn't like what you what you mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It wouldn't work. I know. It gets, it, but you listen. You need listen. <laughs> you had needed the money, Frank. I need the money. <laughs> I just did. I just did the money. I was like, you know, whatever they say, do it's professional. Do what you have to do. And I, you know, cause just like you know, guys are, that are not so attractive, I can turn my mind off. Oh, ain't no man ugly to me. Oh, gee. <laughs> He got his money. Why he, he got his money? He's ugly. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you currently now mm -hmm. still in the sex work business? No, because see, I'm, I'm older. Mm -hmm. I'm wiser. I'm more established. Men that's been knowing me for decades, and when I say decades, I mean decades, still call me. To, and proposition. And proposition. And take care of the mother. You know, here, mama, you, 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 what you need? Da, 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 da. We develop a friendship, a closeness. I've seen men through divorces. I've seen men through lo losing their moms, their dads. So I kept my friends. I kept my, you know, which what some would say tricks or John. Mm -hmm. I kept them very close to me. So kind of what you've done mm -hmm. is you've been a counselor to yeah. these. What we've done. Let me not say what you've done, because I've what been a you, part of that. What we've done. Mm -hmm. we, you would you? We, is it, so is it safe to say that we've been like counselors or, or, or and, and psychiatrists for these men, Absolutely. helping them through their you know divorces, deaths, breakups, L losing jobs, identity, identity. Yeah, because I have to let them understand. Some men will not and never will agree or identify with being gay. No matter how much they, you know, how they go down on you, how they love you as a trans person, the men that I talk to do not identify with being gay. I may look at my eyes and say you're gay, but they do not identify with that. So you think that men that have have relationships with trans women, do you do you personally think that they're gay? Mm, no, because they don't identify with it. I think they're doing homosexual activities, but they just don't identify with gay. And, the, and, the, and well, what they, what they say gay is is a lifestyle. That's what they be thinking. Like going on a gay cruise, going, I'm, I'm kissing a man, going to the bathhouse. That's what they identify as gay. But we, but we, we, but we can't say what they identify. I, I, I've always wanted to ask another trans mm -hmm. woman. 
you as a trans woman, do you think that men who have sexual encounters with us, do you think that they are homosexual? Well, I've always been taught that homosexual activity is when you have, you know, sex with the same gender. Or you mean the same sex? The same sex. So, they don't see us as the same sex. And I get in their mind psycho psychologically not to, to make them not see me as the same <laughs> sex. So, um, I don't think but that are, they, but the are activity, they... But are they having a same sex encounter? They, they are having a same sex encounter, but I can't tell them that. I can't, I can't drive it to them to, let them, to see it from my perspective. Because I've been in the gay life and that's all I know. Because if you ask me, mm -hmm. talk about it. Two penises is a homosexual act. That's why I said homosexual activities. You know. Mm -hmm. But do you think that, you know, when the man tell you and he comes over here and he said, "I do not identify with being gay. I see you as a woman." I hey, see you as listen. And he, I, I, you, I respect everybody's identity. Mm -hmm. You straight. You straight. Okay. So what? What would you say? When you when the man baby you have a sex with a goddess mm -hmm. and you just leave it at that you have a you have a supernatural you experience you don't put no labels on it you have a supernatural experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's why I see it point blank point blank they gonna tell us up in the comment section about it I right? know because who gives a damn I, you have a supernatural experience nigga yeah because I can because so you can go and that's why you got to pay for it mm-hmm. Cause I can't. I, I've never. You got to pay your way in this heaven, bitch. Mm. That's right. Ba <laughs> So, what made you begin expressing yourself to the world wide web? What made me begin? I was kind of shy. I sit back and I watch people, and I did, and I, and when I found a person that looked like me, I was like, "Well, look at this person. They have nothing to hide. You look. She has nothing to hide." She, she's not she's not apologetic for her actions, you know. People like you, and then I did see Flame on, you know, the Comic View, mm -hmm. and I saw um, who else did I see? I seen um, so many people that was on social media just talking. I said, well, I can talk. I'm a great talker. I'm a great speaker. I have ideas. Maybe I can execute them. And I just put the camera to my face. I didn't know that people were going to like me or not. And I knew that people were going to start, you know, trashing me and stuff like that. I knew that was coming. But I didn't care. I just want a space. I just wanted a space, you know, mm. to be who I am. You and, just want and, a and space to voice. I voice my uh, thoughts and you opinions. Voice your thoughts and, and who you are. Yeah. Okay. Just like you. What, what made, let me ask you that same question. Go ahead. What made you, T.S. Madison, Larger Than Life, Is It On, what made you Put a camera to your face and tape your life, your journey. What, what? To answer your question, I've always sold a product, mm -hmm. and for me, mm -hmm. the product that I was selling was sex. Mm -hmm. And what people didn't understand was that after you have the sex and you've had this experience, who are you? You don't really have a lot of people to talk to. Mm -hmm. So when you don't have lots of people to talk to, mm -hmm. talk to every motherfucking body. Mm -hmm. And I would sit down in front of my camera on YouTube and I would start talking about, hey y'all, girl, let me give y'all the tea on what happened, girl. Mm -hmm. Girl, the trade came over here and, you know, I just would tell a story. And, just tell your, that's, and that was real. You didn't have to, you know, sugarcoat it, you just, you was being yourself. You found comfort in being yourself. People could see the authenticity. Yeah. And, and that's how you... And that's how I am today. I'm still the mm -hmm. same thing. Like, I wake up, like, I, you know, and it just, it, it transitioned outside of it just being sex because I used to let people follow me. Like, y'all, come on, let me get this lube and these comments. Let me show you these lube. I would take them on a journey, journey. with me, mm -hmm. you know, just to show them, like, bitch, okay, yeah, this was sex I did on, on Friday, but girl, this was going on on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Mm -hmm. Bitch, my, I'm tired. Or <laughs> this boy aggravated me, you know. And I just needed somebody to express this stuff to because, mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't really talking to my mother about. You couldn't. How could you? Oh, I did, but oh, I wasn't. Yeah. Really, I did, but I really wasn't talking to her about mm -hmm. these sexual experiences. So I was like, girl, I don't have anybody else to talk to. Let me talk to the world. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to the world, and the world listened mm -hmm. because it became intriguing. 
you know, for, for because if I was outside outside looking in and somebody's talking to me, this is why I watched you because uh -huh. you were very interesting to me. Thank you. And I needed Likewise. to know what the hell is going on over here? Why does this girl have this chicken <laughs> this with this dildo in know. it? I mean, even though that drew me in, I wanted to see more of more. what was going on. Absolutely. Like, what happens after the chicken, the cock comes out of the chicken? <laughs> the chicken. You know what I'm saying? I live a real life, you know. I just, what is she in this bathroom talking about? Why is she on this stuff crawling all over this counter? And yeah. I, it just drew me in. Thank you. And it was just, I was just being me. That's yes. what And I wanted to be just comedic and make an ass of myself and make other people laugh. I love to make people laugh. Mm -hmm. I love to make, you know, people get over to what they're going through. And especially kids, they're drawn to me because a lot of kids, they've been to a place where they've been bullied like me. You know what I'm saying? And it, I connect with them a lot because they can see my struggle. I love it. Yeah. So when did you... When did you recognize that you had become this internet sensation or this viral this viral girl? When did you know that? Was it the first time you shopped in the grocery store after a while? Was it you going out to your mailbox? Was it your neighbor? What was it that let you know that you had become the viral <laughs> sensation? <laughs> the Jaguar Evermore. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> well, um, to be honest with you, um, I still don't know. <laughs> I still don't know if, that, if I'm the Jaguar ever more. To be honest with you, you know, you 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 just you told me when you were coming here, you you were very excited. I really wish that people could. Could you tell me again the way that you told me when you came in? You was like, "Oh my God, they recognized me at the rental car place. Yeah. They recognized me at the hotel. They recognized." Excited. I was excited, uh -huh. and, I, and I, I didn't I didn't think people because you know me. I'm always solo dolo. I'm always in L.A. When you see those videos, I'm always in a bathroom, I'm always in a field, I'm, I'm just by myself, just doing me. You don't never see me hanging with a lot of girls, a lot of men. You see one come over, I'm always by myself. So I never knew that anybody was paying me attention, but I do see people posting and reposting videos of me. Um, you went viral many times. A lot of times, you know, when I, especially if I had Facebook. But um, I don't know what it is that make people interested. I don't know if they want to laugh with me. Or laugh at me, but whatever it is, I love it. Whatever it is, whatever direction it goes into, I love it. And I'm not done creating. I like to create and make things. And and the first time I knew when I was like um, somebody to look at, and I was some, you know, when all these comments kept coming on Facebook, when I did a video saying I don't fuck with haters and haters, and that thing went super viral. Say it. What was it? I don't fuck with haters and haters don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with haters. They smell like pussy pee. If pussy you pee. fuck with Jaguar Evermore, something we all agree. Bitch, I will split your wig, put you in the band. They brand to 2093. Boom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I split your wig. I crack you down your motherfucking medulla. I would gotta separate your goddamn Sarah Paul until your cerebellum all went to the secretion of your sriracha. You know what I'm saying? And I said all that stuff. And, Can and, you and, just say it? Just go straight through with it. Do what? it, sister. What? Do it. I don't, I don't, I don't, quit. I was Turn marching up. and I had the, you know, the white makeup on and I was in the process of doing my makeup and I was in this, um, cause your people kept coming on my thing, messing with me and, and saying all kinds of, you know. And it just made you go off. It made me go off and I flexed to let and you know. And you flexed and you what you hit it, supposed to do it since one time. And I went to marching with that little crooked body. <laughs> show me, I, bitch, show I, me. I was like this. I was just marching, bitch. I don't talk. With haters and haters don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with haters. They smell like pussy pee. If you fuck with Jaguar Evermore or something, we he all agree, bitch. I will spit your wig, put you in the band name band 2093. Boom! And I was like, boom, bitch. And you know, and then I'll start talking, bitch. I'll be, bitch, I'll split you down your motherfucking medulla obligata, bitch. Separate your goddamn cerebral palsy all the way to your goddamn secretion to the sidewalk and your sriracha, bitch. I was telling people what I was going to do to them. And they said, this motherfucker. Fucking dick a bit. What, what man want? They were just calling me anything. Monster, ant farm. They were just calling me anything. And it's just coming, it's just kept coming down. Like, I was like, well, Lord have mercy. But it was an anthem for somebody who's been bullied. Anybody who's been told, you know, you're not good enough, you're not going to be. It no became man. an anthem. It became my anthem. And people, kids, it's their mantra. And they sing it or whatever. And, 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 and it just took off. You know, there was a video that you did that was so funny to me when, when some, because you have a lot of straight men that like to come on your live. They do. 
They do. They don't straight me and troll your page. <laughs> they put <laughs> they go on your live and one of the straight guys said <laughs> Bitch, you motherfucking drag queen. You something <laughs> and, and then you turn around, you said where did we go wrong? <laughs> where did we go wrong? <laughs> and that's what I would ask. <laughs> and if a guy would accost me or if, if I meet a guy and something like that, and even in, out in the streets, if I meet you or something like that, I say, bitch, look, and you start talking to me crazy, I'm going to ask you first, where did we go wrong? Not mean that I'm going to run from you. I'm going to wait to see where we went wrong so I can know how to hit you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? And you have to. And, that's, and that was Marcus. When I say Marcus comes out, Marcus would come out and just Girl, the way you turned around and looked at that nigga in the bathroom with your wig out. You know what I'm <laughs> Where did we go wrong? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I might have laid my phone down and have laughed to tears. Have you seen that video, Oliver? Yeah. Where did we go wrong? <laughs> Bitch, I have. Yeah. It almost took me away from him. <laughs> no, right. It was so funny. <laughs> Oh, thank you. It was yeah. so funny. That was ex- he wasn't expected it either. Was he? Were y'all dating? Were y'all no. online dating? The boy, the boy kept coming in there and 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 messing with me and kept thinking, you know the boy they let to make make us mad when they make us mad and we talking our deep voice they love it. It turns them believe it or not it turns some straight boys on because ain't no woman. You know, ain't no woman getting into their ass like that. It turns them on, and they will keep coming back and to see how they can make you mad. You know, but that boy was like, he said, "Nigga, you're a drag queen." Nothing. What we go wrong, then? Yeah. Where did we go wrong? What did we go wrong? That shit took me out of here, dog. Like that shit took me away. Yeah. Yes, because Girl. people kept sharing that video <laughs> on Twitter. On Twitter. On Twitter. I was like, and they was making all kind of memes and things, and I was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> and I'm not even on. Well, where, did we on. where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? Bitch, I. Oh my God. It took you out. You want to see the video? I got it on my phone. I know you got it. Since we're gonna watch those things upstairs. <laughs> okay. Now, listen. There's another video that you got, cause, and I want to ask you about uh-huh. this individual. Um, who is that man that always appears in your videos with you? Ooh, his name is Juan. The Spanish guy. The Spanish man. His name is Juan. And Juan would do anything to make me happy. Juan knows. Is he a date? He, yeah. He's a, he, I've been <laughs> for five years. Bless his heart. And um, and he, 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 he takes care of me. And he brings me little things and stuff like that. And sometimes he just won't. He just won't be black deep. That's all he wants. I want. I like it to be black. I asked him, what other colors do you like, baby? It's all kinds of deep. Like, no, I want big black deep. And if somebody else is trying to get, she, that's what he wants. And 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 he trip. I laughs at him. And he's with the party. He's with the fuckery. You know, Plies had recently posted him, and I and that's all I wanted. I wanted I wanted him to get on Ply's page and he's just jumping up with the boots on to one of his songs and that made me so happy that he got on finally he's getting to be seen, but he don't know that he's seen. He don't know that he you know, he make people laugh, he don't know he make people's day, but he does. And he's 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 game for it. So he made a video that Ply's reposted. Uh uh-huh. he was jumping up and down to a Ply yeah, song. Last week. Uh, yeah, Ply's posted it last week. On his page, mm-hmm. were you were you were you in that video? I was dancing in the background, but I wanted to be more about him. Let him shine, you know. I want him to shine. Does he have social media? I don't think he has a social media. Lord, that man' wife gonna fuck you up. I think his wife found out he was gay. He said my wife found out I was gay. She kicked me out the house for two weeks and took him back. But knowing his wife, whoever she is, I don't know if her name is Margarita or Consuelo. I don't know what her name is, but. She took him back. And you know, she may not even be over here. You know, he works. He's the only one that's providing working. So she got to put, you know, Does what's she going to do? Put up with him? And he's, she said, is he Mexican? Mm-hmm. Oh. I asked him about her. I don't, is, is I don't, he an I don't think he, is he is it, does, it, does he have a visa, a working visa? I don't, I don't know. He ain't got no wedding ring. So that's why I didn't know if he had a wife or anything. But I think he has some girl. I'm not sure. But he said, my family, they find out I'm gay. I said, oh, oh, oh. Don't oh, 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 bring over here. But I just, you know, but his spirit is just, you know, real good. And see, and I don't have to keep Juan around. I really don't. But I do because he brings so much, you know, to who I am. 
and to what my platform is. He just brings a smile to my face too when I see him. I laugh. I go back on the videos and laugh. He could just be standing there with a wig and saying, you know, I, I, um, I, I take 10, 14, and I got Christmas videos of him dancing and stuff like that, and hey, Cindy Lou, and like that, like he's scared. He just brings so much joy to my life, so I just and you keep him around. Him. You I keep, keep him around. Now, I, I have one question. Even mm -hmm. though he's a date, do you pay him for to be in any of those videos? He don't want to be paid. He want to be paid in something else. See, that's what we, we got to understand. See, he comes to do that, and I do that. So you think I like it the big black? Yes, yes. If he do that, do my videos, I will give him the know, big black D. The big black D. That's his pain. <laughs> See, we don't we don't exchange anything, you know, because he was a date, but he I guess he fell out on bad. I met him as a date a long time ago, five years ago. But he now. worked for you because honey, they love those videos. They keep you, they yeah. keeps you paid. Yeah, I love it. The big black D. <laughs> he I love it. He the big black D. And he, that's all he wants is the big black D. And the big black D. And he's mad at y'all. I want y'all to know, boys, guys out there who want to bring him some. He is so mad with y'all because he said, I do this. I do this for a year now. And nobody bring. And he is dead serious. I want y'all to know he is serious. So I don't know if y'all ever like him. If y'all like how he looks. He's real short. But he's down for the cause. So that's. <laughs> he want the big black D. He, he really want that. That's what he really wants. People think he's playing. <laughs> so. Jaguar, mm -hmm. what is the big biggest misconception that people have about Jaguar ever? Mm -hmm. The biggest misconception is, um, oh, that um, that oh, it's not it's not too many. But some people say I'm not a great represent. I know that that's not a misconception. They say I'm oh, not girl. a great representation. I don't I don't bother with that. Let me tell you something before you even say that. Mm -hmm. Any visible girl that's mm -hmm. unorthodox mm -hmm. always will be labeled as not being a great representation of a community. Mm -hmm. When girls need to understand that you know it is not your responsibility to be the representation mm -hmm. of an entire community. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is your responsibility when you hold office mm -hmm. unknowingly mm -hmm. to give gems to the people. Like you're sitting here giving gems now, saying that you found in yourself Marcus protects you mm -hmm. or you or you to tell who you are. That is your duty. Mm -hmm. Is to tell who you are and to also make sure that when you are delivering these messages that you keep in mind a bigger picture of the situation but mm -hmm. you can't forget yourself in the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just like Flame is and I hate to bring it up but Flame is she, she's, she's been on a breath. That is Flame's identity. identity. That is who she is. Mm -hmm. that is. No we may not agree with everything that she's but it's, it's not our response. It is not our responsibility mm -hmm. to hold her Accountable for that, for her Absolutely. being her. Mm -hmm. She's occupying a big space. We do want to be, we do, because even I had to learn that. Mm -hmm. I had to learn to be, you know, conscious of what's going on and, and what's watching, because especially mm -hmm. when you said kids are watching you. Mm -hmm. we, I get that. Mm -hmm. But bitch, you're still you. Yeah. When them kids watching want, you or I, not, I, you're still you. I want them to be, I'm mm -hmm. like, y'all go to bed. I, I, that's why I try to tape at night, because I don't, you know. That's the time the motherfuckers they be up. up. Well, but I encourage you to be yourself. I <laughs> yeah. encourage you. And the larger that your platform grows, mm -hmm. I would like you to continue to be yourself. But when you grow, the bigger that you grow and the more mm -hmm. responsibility that you take on, you'll understand and you'll see. Uh, you'll see because you'll be able to look out and see like, whoa, mm -hmm. you know, maybe I, I should... I shouldn't change me, mm -hmm. but I just should be a, just a tad bit more mindful right. of my influence that I have, mm -hmm. you know, on things outside. I don't think that you're a bad representation of, of the community. I mm -hmm. think you are mm -hmm. a rep. You are a representation mm -hmm. of a part of the community. Mm -hmm. I am a representation of the community. Flame is a representation of the community. Mm -hmm. Janet Mott, Laverne Cox, Angelica Ross. They're mm -hmm. all and Amaya Scott. All of the, all of each one of us are our own representations mm -hmm. of the community. We are, we are not. We're representing that we are all are not the same. Mm -hmm. We don't look the same. Mm -hmm. We don't think the same. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we all have in common mm -hmm. is that we demand mm -hmm. that you respect us as human beings, beings first. Mm -hmm. That's important. That's my, important. My last question for you, sister, mm -hmm. is this. What is next for you? 
what is next for me? I want to make music. I love making um, writing and making music. And I also want to do comedy. Or I'll be on a commercial or be in a movie playing a, a villain. I want to be, I want to do something that I'm scary out of makeup. I want to play into that. I want to play into whatever I look like. People say I look like the Grinch out of makeup. They say I look like Chucky out of makeup. <laughs> so I want to play into that. So I want to do a role where I'm just like a villain. Just so, going through doing stuff. So when you say that, what I need for you to do when you speak that stuff is... I need you to say, I know that one day mm -hmm. I'm going to be. I know that one day I'm going to. I don't know when, I just know. These are affirmations that you have to give to yourself so that these things can manifest. Mm -hmm. And you have to speak them out loud to the universe and you have to get you a vision board. You have to write it down. You have to write it in something. And then once you apply this stuff uh -huh. this way, you have to walk in it. So if, the, if you want to make music, mm -hmm. buy you some beats and make you some fucking music. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a Chucky doll, an actress, or this and the other, mm -hmm. show up to those auditions. You live in L.A., mm -hmm. do that. If you want to sing, mm -hmm. go out there and audition. Go do this stuff. Don't let anything mm -hmm. get in your mind to deter you from it and to stop you. Mm -hmm. Not because you're a trans woman, mm -hmm. not because you're African American. Not because people think that you're a bad representation of anything. Mm -hmm. Not because of your height. Mm -hmm. Not because of your past or your background. You, ma'am, mm -hmm. are the only reason why you wouldn't be able to do those things. Absolutely. And because you have a large following and a large stuff out there, you are already doing those things. You're really mm -hmm. already walking into that. Mm -hmm. Just monetize off of it. Okay. That's some good advice. So what's, what's what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. I want my own talk show. Mm -hmm. Guess what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Cracking the whole case. case. <laughs> so y'all, the Queen's Supreme Court. Uh -huh. I want my reality show. What am I doing? The Chronicles of T.S. Madison. Mm -hmm. I got my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing all that out in the universe. And if something comes along that is bigger than what I'm doing now and, and picks me up, mm -hmm. I've already laid the foundation. for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know when I just know. And I want you to take away from this show tonight mm -hmm. that your good sister mm -hmm. told you, don't say, this is what I want to do. Say, I'm going, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm going to do this. And mm -hmm. if somebody asks you, when is it going to happen? You tell them you don't know because you don't know when. Yeah. You just know. You just know it's going to happen. That's it. Amen. That was the word. Yes. Jaguar, thank you so thank much you for joining me. I love you. Thank I love you, you so I love you much. I love yes, you very yes, much, yes, girl. Yes. I love all that outlandish, outrageous, crazy. You keep it going. Keep, do you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if there, there's going to come a time over you when you feel like that you may want to change or you mm -hmm. may want to do whatever, do mm -hmm. that too. Okay. Do it. Who going to be with you going to follow you? And, and who, who going to leave? They going to haul the fuck ass. And that's what it is. That's what it is. Tell these people okay. where they can follow you at. I, Oh, you guys can follow me at Jaguar underscore Evermore and Jaguar Evermore on YouTube. On Jaguar underscore Evermore on Instagram, Jaguar Evermore on YouTube. Jaguar Evermore on Instagram, Jaguar Evermore on YouTube. Boom. Jaguar, honey. Boom. That's it, boom. Boom. You don't fuck with haters. I ain't fucking with you. No haters. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been our Cracking the Cold Cases. We hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next week. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Love you, sister. Love, Love you, baby. Oh, that was fun. Oh, <laughs>